Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm doing my early Scottish Premiership predictions for the upcoming 22-23 season. Get your predictions down below, make sure to drop a like on this, do subscribe if you're new to the channel, let's try and get towards 15,000 and let's go for 100 likes as well. I'm going to start from the bottom, working my way up, bottom of the table, I'm going for St Mirren. Now the thing is with St Mirren, they actually finished ninth last year, but the bookies have them to be 12th this year, and I'm actually agreeing with the bookies here in 12th place. They've had plenty of ins and outs, but I just look at the quality improving down the bottom end of the division. I think St Mirren are going to get left behind. I actually have them to finish bottom. If you're a St Mirren fan, give us your thoughts, but I'm going for you to slip down in bottom place. Finishing in 11th, therefore going into the playoffs, I've gone for Ross County. If you're a Ross County fan, give me your thoughts going into this season. They finished 6th last year. The bookies have them to finish 10th. I've had them to finish one place lower. I think Ross County might slip a little bit further. I don't think they'll finish bottom, but I think they could be in that mix. Now, they've had a few ins and outs as well. One of the players I've noticed that has come in is Jordi Hiwula. He used to play for my team. And decent business so far but like I say I think the quality is certainly improving in the Scottish Premiership and I just don't know if Ross County can have enough to beat that bottom two it could be close though in 10th place I'm going to go for St Johnston I think St Johnston will just about steer clear now they finished 11th last year I was looking at what the bookies had to say and they have them in 11th again but for me they've made some strong signings and I just think St Johnston are just going to steer clear of the bottom two this season obviously they did very well in the playoffs when it came to the high pressure game against Inverness but they got over the line and I think this time round they'll just steer clear of it and I think St Johnston are staying up in ninth place I'm going for Motherwell now, let me know if you're a Motherwell fan, if you agree with this down below. Motherwell have had not many signings come in yet, so that is why I'm having them to drop down the table. They actually finished fifth last year, but the bookies have got them to finish in ninth as well. So you can see what I mean about some of the teams that finished down there last season, pushing up the table, and some, the newly promoted team maybe pushing on as well. I think Motherwell will be clear of the bottom two, but it could be a struggle this year. But yeah, they need to do more business before the season starts. We've still got three weeks to go. Just above them in eighth place, I'm actually going for Livingston. Livingston finished in 7th place last season. The bookies have them to finish in 8th place this season and once again I'm agreeing with the bookies. I'm trying not to agree with the bookies on everything but Livingston's business has been okay. I think they're going to have a similar season to last season so I feel like they will hold roughly where they were last season in the table. In 7th place I am going for newly promoted Kilmarnock. Got to say I was very impressed by Kilmarnock last season. It was quite competitive in the Scottish Championship and they topped the pack. They won the league and looking at their signings as well I feel like they're really building going in the right direction I think Kilmarnock will come up and stay up quite comfortably I've got them to finish at the top end of the bottom half in seventh place here then as we move into the top half in sixth place I'm gonna go for Dundee United Dundee United did very well last season they actually finished in fourth place not too much business at the moment, which has made me think they could drop down a couple of places. The bookies have also got them in sixth. Once again, I've agreed with the bookies here. But I think a top half finish for Dundee United is on the cards again. I just think they're a very solid team and I think they'll do pretty well next season. Top half for Dundee United. In fifth place, I'm going to go for Hibernian. I'm expecting Hibernian to climb up the table a little bit. I think they finished in eighth place last year, so I expect them to climb up the table into fifth. I'm expecting improvement. They've made some solid signings. One of them standing out is Aidan McGeady as a Football League fan. I feel like Aidan McGeady's got decent potential. And I feel like Hibernian could be a bit of a surprise package coming into this season. If you're a Hibs fan, let me know what you think down below. This is where it starts to get even more interesting. I'm into the top four. And in fourth place, I've gone for Hearts. Now, Hearts finished third last year. The bookies have them to finish third again this year. So I'm pretty much agreeing with them there in fourth place. I think it could be either way around for Hearts here in third or fourth. They made some decent signings as well. They were solid last year. George Grant looks like a decent sign and Alex Cochran as well. So I think Hearts will be a solid team again. After seeing them finish third last year, it'd be great to see if they could break into that top two. It's very competitive though. So I've put them in fourth place. Once again, if you're a Hearts fan, give us your thoughts down below. What business do you expect to see before the season starts? Because so so far, I've got to say I've been fairly impressed. In third place, this is the biggest jump for me, I'm going for Aberdeen. Now, Aberdeen actually finished in 10th last year, but looking at their business, I think the only way they can go is up. Obviously, it wasn't a good season last year, but I feel like they've made some decent signings, and I feel like I look at the size of the club as well and think Aberdeen should not be finishing down in 10th place. I think they will push on this season, and I've got them to finish third. So the best of the rest, if you're an Aberdeen fan, what do you think? So then last up, we have got the top two, and this is the bit you've probably all tuned in for. Who am I going for to win the league? Well, I'll give it away. In second place, 
I've gone for Celtic. It is going to be close, I think. But Celtic, I'm putting in second place. Obviously, very impressive. They won the Scottish Premiership again last year. And they've made some very decent signings. Obviously, they've brought in Jota, Carter Vickers from Spurs as well. And obviously, they've got lots of quality from last season as well. And I think this could be really, really interesting. I've got Celtic in second place. If you're a Celtic fan and don't agree, instead of going mad in the comments, just let me know why you think I'm wrong and why Celtic are going to win the league. So then, that does mean in first place, I am going for Rangers. Rangers. Rangers really impressed me last year. Obviously, they finished second in the Scottish Premiership, but it was what they did in Europe that really caught my attention. Obviously, if they do well in Europe this season as well, it can split the focus, but I think Rangers are going to win the league. I look at some of their business as well. Zach Lovelace from Millwall, pretty decent. John Sutar as well coming in, and obviously, they were very impressive last year. I like the manager. I've actually got Rangers to win the league. If you're a Rangers fan, do you agree, or do you think you might finish second again? What's the priority for Rangers? Going far in Europe, or winning the Scottish Premiership? Let me know down below. So then, guys, that wraps up my early Scottish Premiership predictions. Do take that with a pinch of salt. Obviously, there's still a few weeks of the season to go, and if you want to see my official predictions, they'll come out in about two weeks' time. Make sure to drop a like, do subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.